Welcome dear students for the online class of 3rd semester BCA for the subject system software affiliated to Kuwempu University. So today we are discussing having the session number 17 and we are discussing the subtitle flowchart for the pass to assembler. So before moving on to the flowchart of the pass to assembler, let's have a recap of the previous class what we have discussed. In the last class, you have all been learned what do we mean by a pass to pass one along with its flowchart and databases there. So now for in this online class, the learning objective is understanding the explanation along with the flowcharts for the pass two. So the session outcome will be the student will be able to understand the flowchart for the pass two along with the pass two database. So now, now let's start learning the assembler, how it is happening in terms of your pass two. So before moving on to the flowchart of the pass two, let us have the glimpse or very important thing is let us know in the database during the pass two, what are the things we need to have. So first, when we are working with the pass two of an assembler, we should have copy of a source program with pass one knowledge. We have already learned that during the end of the pass one, the value will be stored and it will be used by the pass two. So that is what I'm referring here, copy of the source program. Along with that, the very important thing is to keep track of the instruction values. We need to have the value of the location counter. And as a database in the third one, we should will be having the MOT that is your machine operation table, which signifies for every instruction, the following four things. Among them, the first is we need to verify or we need to know about the symbolic mnemonics used in every instruction. What is the length of the mnemonics we are working with and the binary machine op code along with the format, whether it is RS, RX or SSI and so on. So having this MOT, we need to even have another table, you know that that is called as POS that is directive or pseudo operation table that signifies for every directive the symbol symbolic mnemonic and the action to be taken in the pass two. Along with that, we have the symbol table organized by the pass one of the assembler, which comprises each label and its corresponding value. Also, our workspace INST that is instruction is used to hold every instruction as its different part. For example, binary opcode, register fields, length field, displacement field and so on. And all these things are being assembled together here. So finally, an output file of the assembled instruction in the format needed by the linker is ready once we complete the pass to of our assembler. So now, under we understood about the databases of the pass two and we have even learned the flowchart for the pass one. Now let's move on to know how the flowchart or how the flow is working in our pass two. So this slide, it depicts the flowchart for the assembler of the pass to assembler during pass two. So first, as usual, we have the start, then we get the user input from the intermediate version. So once we get the user line from the intermediate version, which is available in the pass one, then we start searching for the directive tables. So I have told what is a directive there. So we will search all the directive table and if you encounter any directive called end, then it will be added to the user report and from pass to we'll get exit. Otherwise, we'll next go for searching the instruction table. And if we encounter any display error, again, we are doing the same thing, adding to the user report and we are coming back to the process from the starting. So if we don't get any display error, then our task is to examine the operands if memory reference lookup addresses in the symbol table. So this is done in our pass two of the assembler. So once we get the operands there, then in the pass two of the assembler, we will create the hexadecimal code for this line, what we have examined or what we have obtained. Then finally, we will add to the object file and add to the user report and the same thing will continue from starting again. So this is how the flowchart of an assembler, uh, pass to of an assembler is going to happen. So with that, we have now understood overall the pass one and pass two databases along with its flowchart. Now students, let's have some MCQs related to our today's session there. So the first MCQ for today is in a two pass assembler, that is what we have discussing from the few online classes. The task of the pass two is what? Option A is separate the symbol, mnemonic opcode and the operand field. Option B, build the symbol table. 
option c construct the intermediate code option d synthesize the target program i think this is the many times we have discussed about the task of the two pass assembler and as what you are guessing is correct the answer is d that is synthesizing the target program now we'll move on to the second question that is the instructions like mov that is for moving or add that is for addition are called as what whether they are called as opcode operators commands or none of the above and i know you have guessed the answer properly this is nothing but an opcode which represents the operational code third one in two pass assembler the object code generation is done during one whether it is done during second pass first pass zeroth pass none done by the assembler and the answer is during the second pass of the assembler we are going to generate the object code that we have shown just in the flow chart at the end there so the next question is pass to performs what a processing of the assembly directives not done during the pass one or write the object program and assembly listing assemble the instructions and generate data or all of this and the answer is all of this during the pass two we are going to do all the things which you have listed here and the last mcqs for today's online session is which table is permanent databases that has an entry for each terminal symbol whether it is a literal table identifier table terminal table or none and the answer is terminal table so therefore we have concluded our today's online session and the today's session summary is the student is able to understand the flow chart for the pass one along with its database for further readings dear students you can refer to the book authored by john donovan and the title of the book is system programming